Those are some bad colors. And I still didn't wake up. Good times. What is going on, everyone? Mike O back with my day one of the 2024 National Sports Collectors Convention recap. The National, as I've said many times, is always awesome. It's so much fun. It's something we look forward to all year. And once day one finally gets there, it's just a great time. It goes fast. Opened at four today. It's done at eight. Four hours flies by, especially when you're just kind of getting your bearing. But it ends up being a really long day because you're traveling. I only had to travel an hour and a half today, but still, you're traveling, you're picking people up from the airport, you're checking into the, your Airbnb, you're getting your credentials, you're doing all this stuff, kind of getting the lay of the land. Um, I burned my first hour taking care of some business. I had some stuff I was uh, moving, so I got that done. So that was definitely, it felt great to kind of get that out of the way. Appreciate all the guys I'm staying with for uh, helping me out with that. Had some uh, security there, some people helping me, you know, carry some stuff. So that was pretty awesome. And then after that, you're down to three hours to kind of check out the show. The show's huge, as every national is. It's just no matter how many times you've been there, whether it's your first time or your ninth time, you start to feel a little overwhelmed because you're just like, where do I even begin? Um, this show is divided into two sides, kind of the way I look at it, the left and the right. The right side, the front, is where you have some of the original dealers and stuff. So I actually started on the left, did a couple aisles, and then I shifted over to the right. So I got to see a decent amount, but I'm like not even probably a tenth of the way through the show. So I'll be catching up on that. And therefore, I didn't get to see that much. So I didn't pick up a lot. I picked up a couple things, and then I've got a little stack here of gifts from uh, some of the housemates. So I appreciate that. So we'll... Uh, Flip through some of this stuff real quick as we uh, see the day one pickups. Like I said, no huge deals. This was just a cheap uh, pickup. Sealed pack guy. This one, I only picked it up. I like the Conlon collection. Uh, a lot of sweet cards in there. This one just happened to feature Connie Mack on the front. So I figured I'd pick that one up for the collection. Then Robert, who's here on YouTube, Presti Prestige Collectibles. You guys should check him out. He is on the right side. Uh, I think he's he's in aisle 300 or 400, but he has all the Japanese cards, you know, some of your current Japanese stars and then vintage, and then he'll have some major leaguers as well. So I picked up some of these Konamis. I want to say these are from about 2005. I think I have a couple of them. I know I have the Rollins. So got John Lieber, who actually had a nice little two-year run with the Phils. Ryan Howard, who's obviously one of the all-time great power hitters in franchise history. Pat Burrell, part of the World Series team. Then I got a couple Bobby Abreus here. Uh, one of those is going to go to a family member. Those are from 2006. So I always like to support Robert if you guys are into any of the Japanese cards. And he has like a whole showcase full of Ichiros and stuff. So um, awesome member of the community. So thank you for the deal on those, Robert. And then I picked up a couple of oddballs. Got this Mike Schmidt. That's from 1988. So you got the disc game from the uh, Catico game. And you can find the discs, but having them attached is much more difficult. So happy to add that one. And then, again, not a big deal here. I just kind of got that in the same deal. I had picked up a few other things for a friend. But uh, this is a pro stamps. So Greg Jeffries. And then you've got a couple other guys here. Mickey Morandini. Paul Quantrill, who was actually an opening day starter for the Phillies one year. And Darren Dalton and the team stamp. So just kind of a neat thing to add to the collection. Uh, I mostly was focusing on some of the pre-war stuff. Saw some neat stuff, but nothing that jumped out at me. Nothing that I needed. So hopefully I'll find some bigger stuff in the coming days. Some of the gifts. We got the Hitman 23 card here. May the cardboard gods shine down upon us all. So awesome card there from Mike. And then we got some little packs of cards here. 
Uh, this is also from Mike. So this is kind of what actually prompted Mike to end up staying with us. He had messaged me about this Zach Wheeler asking if I had it, the team logo parallel from 2024 tops of Zach Wheeler. I did not have it. He offered it to me. So appreciate that, Mike. And uh, then we started talking because we housed together in AC and Mike didn't make it last year, but uh, now he's part of the group here. And then he sent me this or handed me this huge stack of fun stuff. We got the 1990 Fleer Terry Mulholland. We got some more Mulhollands here. 92 Upper Deck. We got Stadium Club Tops. We got the Leaf, 93 Leaf. I believe Ed is uh, doing a signed set of that. Fleer Ultra, beautiful card. I mean, a lot of these I have in binders, but I'm always happy to have plenty more. Fun to go through. I like Select. Triple play. The old triple play cards are pretty neat. Flare. Man, we could use some flare again. 92 Fleer, 93 Bowman. Terry Mulholland, I was lucky enough to witness his no-hitter August 15th, 1990. Super fun. Just one of those games. You never know what you'll see at a major league game, and you'll never know what you remember from it. I remember being at that game with my dad and my brother and being super excited. Been lucky enough to be at Two no hitters also was at Roy Halliday's postseason no hitter. Oh, then we got the uh, curveball, the Chicago Cubs Mulholland 97 Fleer. We got the 89 Tops, one of my favorite sets, the set that kind of started it all for me. Then a handful of New England Patriots here. We got Julian Edelman, who actually has a really good podcast. I, I listen to it from time to time. Rob Gronkowski card. I don't have that Strata. Refractor from Top's Finest. There's a Mulholland 89 Fleer. I believe that's traded, right? Yep, or the update set. And then a Drew Bledsoe Starstruck in the old school Patriots uniform. Thank you, Mike. Appreciate it. Hitman23. You guys check him out on YouTube. I'm sure he'll get some uh, videos from the National up at some point. I know it's been a long day, so a lot of us in the house uh, didn't get a chance to do one. We got a little pack of cards here from Big Scott 35 Hopefully you guys get a chance to check out him uh, showing you this Airbnb. Fun little video we did. Here's a Cracker Jack Pat Burl. We got Bryce Harper with a Santa hat. Here's another Pat Burl from Upper Deck. Pat Burl doing the awkward slide. Pat Burrell launching a home run off of probably Armando Benitez. He used to own him. Burrell first edition from 08 Upper Deck. Nice Darren Dalton. I remember being uh, so excited in 94. They made John Cruck and Darren Dalton like inserts. I don't think the Phillies had ever had an insert card before that because they were so bad once inserts started uh, being produced. The Upper Deck loose collection. I'm not even familiar with that, but Darren Dalton, something I need for the PC. Mario Holland's autograph. I don't think you'll see another national recap with a Mario Holland's autograph. He uh, maybe, maybe pitched two seasons with the Phillies. Here's a nice Chuck Klein from Prism. You got a Scott Kingery relic. He's actually having a solid year down in AAA, but unfortunately, once you start to approach the age of 30 and you're still in AAA, uh, you get very forgotten in the hobby, but Kingery had a few solid years with the Phils. A very nice Pedro Martinez tops update card. And an autograph of the Roman Quinn. Roman Quinn used to be a Philly center fielder. Very fast. Actually a dynamic player. He just uh, unfortunately was literally consistently hurt. Anytime he would get in a little run, he'd get hurt. And then we have one little batch here from Wesker Griff. I'm sure there'll more than likely be a troll card in here, but we'll see. We got Brandon Cooks. He was with the Phils for, or he was with the Patriots, I should say. It's been a long day. For one year, they reached the Super Bowl. He uh, had a big turnover, got injured against the Eagles. So, But he is also well-known in the hobby 
you've been around for probably, what, five years, you'll remember Brandon Cooks, the 99. So there you go. We got Mac Jones, a Mac Jones relic, now a backup for the Jaguars. Stefan Gilmore from Phoenix. That's a cool card. He was uh, made a big play in that Super Bowl against the Rams. We got a Crusade parallel here of Alec Bohm, rookie. We got a Tom Brady Prism card. It's a nice card from 2019 Panini Prism. We got the green parallel of Jojo Romero. This guy, uh, he used to chug like a Red Bull or something really quick before he came into the games, and then he'd come running in. One of those guys who had a big act, so basically what he would usually do is he would chug a Red Bull or he'd chug something else. You know, Maybe it was alcohol, and he had a slide cover over I don't know what he come running on the field and then promptly give up either a base clearing double or a home run or whatever he eventually got traded to St. Louis for Edmundo Sosa so that turned out to be a good deal he's actually pitching okay for St. Louis but he was awful with the Phillies and then we got a JT Real Muto select looks like an orange or red there number to 199 sweet card and then an Alec Bohm Bowman Chrome Mojo Refractor from a Mega Box. So nice little package there from Ed. Appreciate it. Jojo Romero being the gem of that one. So that's pretty much it for the pickups, but the Nationals great. We got a few more days to go. Definitely excited to see uh, what happens. You got the Thursday night get together, YouTube get together. That's always a great time. Can't wait to see everyone there. If you're uh, watching this, if you're in or around the National, I suggest you uh, make it out there Thursday. Then Friday is a get-together being hosted by Filmington, Silver Jackify, and myself. should check that one out as well. And then we'll see what happens Saturday. Saturday, I know you get a lot of people starting to uh, take off and such. And then a lot of people have early travel, so that's probably a little more calm of a day. But I know there's trade nights uh, Thursday and Friday as well as Saturday, so... There's plenty of time. I mean, the show's from 10 to 6, and then you have trade nights and, like, after shows and all kinds of cool stuff. So make sure you uh, check those out if you're in the area. Otherwise, appreciate you guys watching. Comment below. Let me know what you think. Check out everyone else's uh, channels. Check out all the recaps going up, or even hit that Watch Later button. I know there's a lot coming out right now, but appreciate you guys watching as always. Uh, Dave is here. I'm sure he wants to say something in the tradition of these recap videos. Go Jets. Go Phils. Go Pats. Go Thank you for watching, and I will talk to you next time. Have a great one.